Welcome back. We turn now to headlines in Ulster County and we begin in New Paltz. Officials already dealing with seeking out new space for the town hall now have to include looking for larger quarters for the New Paltz Police Department. Town leaders say the department has outgrown the facility on South Putt Corners Road, where it's been stationed for almost five years. The news comes on the heels of the current struggle to move officials from town hall to temporary units near the highway department garage. This after black mold was discovered in the town hall basement over the summer. Rupco, formerly known as the Rural Ulster Preservation Company, has been overwhelmed with applications for its housing assistance program. The company opened up its Section 8 Housing Choice Voucher Program to Ulster County individuals and families for the first time in three years and says that the amount of traffic its website experienced within the first 48 hours actually crashed the site. The program provides rental assistance to help low-income residents afford housing. The agency predicts it will receive up to 2,000 applicants, however, only 1,000 and will be accepted through a lottery. The deadline for the waiting list application is December 12th. More unsafe buildings are on the chopping block in Kingston. Officials say the demolition of unsafe buildings has been making a positive impact on the city. 11 structures have been targeted and $100,000 in taxpayer funds have been used to demolish buildings or properties where the owners have refused to do it. Officials involved with the act say the move will encourage new investments in neighborhoods. Well, it certainly increases the quality of life uh, in the immediate neighborhoods. Um, uh, it removes blight in the, in the city. It removes an unsafe, uh, imminent danger building that poses a threat to the public safety and health. Um, and, uh, and it does increase the property values in the surrounding areas. So. Officials say demolition will be put on hold during the winter months and will pick up again in the spring. Ellenville residents are sounding off about a proposed heating system upgrade at their school district buildings. Officials say the $14.4 million plan calls for Ellenville Elementary School's current 50-year-old steam system to be replaced with a hot water system, which will lower the school's energy costs by up to 30 percent. The project also includes replacing the roofs on the elementary, middle and high schools. School district officials will hold a public information meeting about the plan at 6 p.m. on Monday, followed by a referendum vote on December 16th at the Ellenville High School Media Center anytime between 8 a.m. and 9 p.m. Turning now to Lake Katrine, where the Ulster Town Board has signed off on a building project that would develop new businesses. The new Ulster Commons Plaza along Ulster Avenue would house an Ulster Savings Bank branch, a Hardee's restaurant, and a retailer. The facility currently houses a Mid-Hudson Medical Group and a tractor supply store. It's not clear when construction will begin. A Kingston company has been bought by a Chicago-based tech company for $54 million. Officials say JBT Corporation has purchased the assets of Wolf Tech Incorporated. It's a fitting merge. JBT is a technology solutions company for the food processing and air transportation industries, while Wolf Tech produces automated industrial food processing equipment. Both companies say the purchase will have a positive impact on new food processing equipment and solutions, as well as expansion. Ulster Town Board members have agreed to design a new rail trail parking lot. Officials have approved the $5,000 project to create a lot at the Wallkill Valley Rail Trail in an effort to try to connect the 22-mile stretch with the 28-mile-long O&W Trail. However, specific plans to link the trails have not been developed yet. Finally, and speaking of parking lots, a local car dealership has been granted a one-year extension for its use of a nearby vacant lot. The Ulster Town Board has approved a measure that would allow the Romeo Chevrolet Buick GMC dealership in Lake Katrine to store vehicles in a lot across the street on Ulster Avenue. State officials say they are satisfied with the steps that the dealership has taken to stop stormwater runoff from their lot. The lot will only be used for, quote, temporary overflow parking of cars. That's all the time we have for tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Amy Green. Tune in next week for another edition of Hudson Valley Week in Review. Good night.